You know, Nathan, Mario's really taking a page out of the Dalai Lama's book. The Dalai Lama once said that switching to your pistol is faster than reloading. And I think I think Mario has finally accomplished that with that pistol on his head. True. He's rooting, he's too shoot he's shooting. Oh, I'm and he's too ruined. Do you see that? What? Look at that shadow on this guy. This is... Oh god damn it, minus one gamer point. Nintendo, Fuck. you suck at making video games. God damn oh I okay, plus one gamer point. I love that. They set that up really well. You know what? Shadowing be damned, that was fine as hell. Welcome back Why don't to you take a page out of Bethesda's book of games. And release a shitty fucking bugged out game on release and then release it sixteen more times. Don't you ever bring up Bethesda <laughs> like that. Fix it. Don't you ever bring up Bethesda like that, Nathan. That's like assaulting my mother. Was... Bethesda basically right no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. It definitely kept me entertained in my childhood and my teen my teenage years. Oblivion is still one of my favorite games. I know, you talk about it all the time. I love Oblivion. I know you do, buddy. I unfortunately I have not played a lot of that one. That's a really good one. Welcome back to Odyssey, which uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I think we killed the boss in the last episode, right? We killed a boss. We right, we killed the chain bitch. How many more rabbits are there? Uh, I think you fight all of them, like, twice. I know, but we've been killing them systematically. How many are left? Two, I believe. So we haven't have we, yet. Have, we, have, we, have we fought these things before? No. Okay, good, because I can't recall ever seeing those. We're rooting and tooting, shooting, boy, now. I can't make this jump. I bet you can't either. Oh! 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 Baby. You just barely made it. I'm so good at Mario. You are significantly better than I'd ever be. Oh, maybe because it's night. Maybe that's yeah, why we haven't is. seen them. Oh well, then why didn't you just say that then? I don't. That that. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the distressed man. Oh, it's too late. Sarlacc pit. Sarlacc pit. Oh, to be digested in the womb of the Sarlacc pit. Unless you're Boba Fett, and then they don't actually... Yeah, because obviously, one, the armor of Boba Fett would hold up to that, because I don't really believe that it would, and two, also Stormtrooper armor holds up to that, which I don't really believe either. Well, they say that it takes you, like, what the, what's the... That's for, like, a person to be digested, but it also said that the acid could cut through anything, but apparently it can't cut through the thing. What are they, made out of Dura, Dura Steel, or I something like that? I don't remember. Word. No, what the fuck is that stupid shit made out of? Because he, Mando wanted a bunch of it for his first Empire thing. Have you watched any of the new season? I watched, well, there's only the first episode out. Oh, I didn't know that. I actually kind of like it because they, they've they kind of... Okay, all right, hang on, let's get fucking into this. i got to talk about this now. I don't like that Grogu came back. I don't either. I don't think he was a necessary bit... I don't think that I, I liked that he was given away. I'm I do like that I know that you don't like, but I do like that uh, Mando revealed his face to Grogu before he left him. I think that kind of signified their Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> I know you didn't like I know you weren't a fan of that, but I liked it because it signified, you know, like yes, you you mean something to me, yada yada yada, I I'm a you know. I, I don't know if I'm a father figure to you necessarily, but I, I do I do love you in some sense, or, you know, whatever that fuck it is for a warrior who beats the shit out of people for money. But, that all being said, I don't think he should have come back, because what the fuck was the point of Ahsoka and Luke showing up if immediately after the fact they were just going to immediately going to shit Grogu back out on the Mando? So I did a little bit more digging on that. And the reason why Grogu came back at all... Is that Disney remember that they really like money? No, it's because <laughs> of the CEO of uh, Star Wars, Kathleen Kennedy, or I'm sorry, Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, is a stupid, dumb bitch. And unfortunately... She realized that she really likes money. Yeah, and I guess Grogu is just, <laughs> this, just the easiest fucking thing in the world to do. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, literally... The baby Yoda thing is literally just printing your own money. Yeah, but the, so. the problem I have with it is that John Favreau and the other fellow that I can never remember the name of with the cowboy hat, Dave Filoni, he they already had an entire season three set out, and then Kathleen 
I guess, just decided to bring Grogu back in Season 3. And it was like, you know, an executive telling you, hey, this is happening, get, get over it. This is, this is, so they had to change everything that they had written for the Book of Boba Fett, which completely kind of ruined it, I think. Yeah. Because they spent, what, like an entire episode about getting Grogu back, or like, or maybe even two episodes about Grogu coming back. Like, the first was like Mando trying to visit him for the chainmail, and then the second was... So anyway, they did that. It kind of ruined the Book of Boba Fett, or at least what Dave and uh, John had planned out for it, and now it's ruining the season three of Mando, because I don't know, have you seen the first episode? No, I haven't, I haven't watched it at all. Okay. It, I didn't like the second season, and I didn't like the Book of Boba Fett. It's so I going of... back to its roots, and because the first episode is a bunch of stuff that needs to be worked on in order for him to get back into the clan. So the full, the whole first episode... That's kind of where I figured it was going to go. Yeah, the whole first episode was about Mando trying to get to the point where he could go to Mandalore and into the mines. Right. So that he could redeem himself in the eyes of the clan or whatever. So he ends up visiting a couple of like familiar faces and old friends to be like, okay, I need this, could you help me out with this? And then, you know, he goes to Bo-Katan and she, he's like... Where can I where can I go for this mine? And then she's like, everything on Mandalore is fucking destroyed. You're gonna die there if you go there. Everything's poisoned. Yada yada yada. Like cautionary tale bullshit. And she's also given up because all of her followers left her because Din still has the fucking right. dark saber, and that was her entire personality was getting the dark saber. And since she can't have the dark saber, her entire personality is cute. So I don't know. She's given up, and I don't know. Well, I didn't like her anyway. I thought well, she was I nice. think she's going to play a much bigger role in this, but who am I to say? I like the first episode. I think they're headed in the right direction, but what I was about, what I'm going to say is that Grogu is like a set piece in all the scenes he's in. He's never acknowledged. He's just kind of there, you know? Right. Like, not even the old friends really like say, oh, you've brought your little buddy back or, you know, anything. There's nothing like that. So I know the script didn't account for him even being present. So I, I think it's going to ruin it in some fashion, but... Yeah, I just don't feel like he has anything to do. Well, the one thing that he... Grogu is definitely stronger with his Force abilities now, because there's like a scene where he's... Mando and the, the one fella from his original guild leader guy, I can't think of his name... He, he, they were having a meeting in his office, and Grogu was sitting in his office chair, and he was using the Force to spin himself in the chair. And it was kind of cute, but, like, you can obviously tell he's much more in tune with his Force abilities, and I think that's not going to come anywhere in effect at all, so... I don't know. I'm, I'm, it, uh, I'm excited for it, but at the same time, as long as... As long as Kathleen's involved in some fashion, I think she's going to find a way to ruin it. I she's ruined she everything. Not... She was the one who spearheaded the entire sequel trilogy. Oh, yeah, but I thought she resigned. No, fuck no. Why would she do that? There's too much money to be had. And unfortunately, no matter how much she pisses off actual Star Wars fans, she's always just going to keep fucking doing whatever she wants. I, I thought that she had. No. I think you thought of a, a different uh, universe where everything was nice and right, and holy shit, you're a hand. <gasps> Master Hand! You're punching him in the face. Why are you hitting yourself, you big-nosed bitch? Anytime I see a woman with a nose ring, like, has the bull nose ring, that's what I think of, is that face right there. I don't know why. I've always thought that that was not that great a look, to be honest. I mean, it, it's really not. Sorry, ladies out there. Your nose ring is not a turn-on. I don't know if that was news or not. I don't know if we're the kind of guys you're trying to attract, but sure you're definitely not going to get us. But... Absolutely, dude. I'd be fucking offended if my nose ring pissed off two voices on the internet. <laughs> well, not pissed off, but didn't, didn't attract them in some fashion. How the f- is this supposed to be- is this like a secret boss or something? No, it's like a main, main... Oh, okay, well, he's tucked away in a little hidden cave, so I wasn't sure. He's what's making the place icy. Oh, I thought it was Bowser. Well, I think if Bowser set it in motion by... Oh, was the ring holding this motherfucker in? Something like that, I think. Uh, 
fine. I guess you can have a little bit of cake there. No gamer points, though. He's dead now, though. Maybe it's easier to bundle moons together. Maybe that's why they did that. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I don't know, the Star Wars, like, there was, there was a time when the shows were good, and I was like, oh. I really like Bad Batch, and I, and I like Mandalorian, like, for the, for the most part. I know, I'm sure I've The Book of Boba Fett was really disappointing, but. But I liked the first season, and then after the first season, you could tell that the suits got their hooks. Closet. I think they approve projects thinking that they're not gonna get legs of their own, and then when they do get legs of their own, like, oh, we gotta put pants on these. We gotta put pants on these fucking legs. Yeah. It's just like. Well, it's really. Well, maybe it's funny because you're ruining everything. You're ruining my life. Yeah, Kathleen Kennedy, you fucking bitch, ruining Star Wars, and she's 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 shot down so many games. I hate her. I hate her, Nathan. The taxi to the to the what kingdom? Metro, Metro kingdom. kingdom. Ah, is that the next place? I don't think so, but possibly. So what are how many how many moons? I know you said there's sixty nine here, but how many are we missing? Well, we have thirty of sixty nine, so we're missing thirty nine. We want we can't get all of those though. Hmm. If you're wondering why I've gone suddenly quiet, it's because I'm eating a piece of pizza. And what a peaceful universe we're in because of it. <laughs> oh shit, where are we going? We're going to the moon. Actually, no, we're not. We're going up to space. But here we are in space. Ooh, special. Well, if this just isn't the giant sand cubes. I'm surprised they didn't take away your hat. They did. Oh, they yeah. did. Yeah. I didn't even realize it. Wait, didn't you just throw them? I threw onto a scarecrow that made the bridge appear. Oh, and you can't, like, recall them or anything? No. Haha, <laughs> Goomba, you can't, you have no depth perception, so you can't, I guess Nathan didn't have any depth perception there either. No, I'm bad at video games. No, you're not. You're literally doing eons better than what I would do. Especially in these sections. Holy shit. Oh, Dorito's over there! Oh, I wanted to do, but okay, I guess. I mean, it saved you a momentary... It was a momentary abatement, as I like to say. Which is a line from The Darkest Dungeon. Which I'm a little disappointed with. The second one? Haven't played enough of the second one to be disappointed with it, but... Oh. The first one, I really loved it, and then I hate how randomly your run can just be, like, going absolutely amazing, and then, like, you log in one day, and you're like, alright, I'm gonna play it today, and the game has just decided that nothing will hit, everything's bad, you get <laughs> fucking shit on, you get no loot, and then everyone who's on the expedition either dies or comes back with that something. That game is very frustrating at times. It's not frustrating at times. It's literally like I'll have it. I'll have it. You, you missed some Doritos back there. Did I? Yeah, there's some on the second. Like, I missed a whole moon too. Yeah, there's some Doritos right there. Um, it's not even that the game is aggravating or anything. It's that I will have literally a run set up and it's going beautiful. It's fucking perfect. Everything about it is amazing. I have I have people at level five. As soon as I get people to level five. Shit starts to hit the fan for no fucking reason. And it's not because I'm using the people that are at level 5. It's because I've started a new crew to get up there because I know yeah. the people at level 5 are going to die eventually because that's how those things go. I'm not trying to control that. I'm trying to control the areas that are mastered now with, like, more levels thinking that people will survive in them longer, right? So you can send out shittier exp expeditions. I don't know. It's annoying. But, you know, you'll get, you'll get, like, 12 hours into a run and then the run will just be like, You're done! Go die in a hole. How What's that? The tide turns. It's not even quick, dude. It's like I have decided that this is done. But yeah, a momentary abatement is one of my favorite voice lines. Oh. I just like I I honestly kind of like the style of that narration where it's it's like uh, uh what was another good line? Mm. 
Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. I like that one too. There's some really cool lines. His voice is just perfect for that. I don't know who the I don't know who the narrator is, but everything about it's great. I don't think it's the same guy for the second one though. I think it might be. I think it's someone else, which makes me sad. Oh, there. Well, I guess it makes a certain amount of sense because he's the main bad guy, so you can help that. Oh, I've never gotten that far. Spoiler, well, he suicided himself. How is he the... The he game came out 12 years ago, I'm sure. Horror, like, kind of monster. So he, like, becomes a big spooky ghost. Kind How of have you beaten that and I haven't? I get so frustrated with it. Uh, I don't know. Were you playing it when it came out? No, I, I didn't get it until years later. Okay, I was going to say, I had only started playing it, like, probably within the last year, I want to say. Yeah, no, I... I because I picked it up on sale and I was like, oh, I kind of like, you know, building a crew of people. That, that's I was playing it recently because I have it on my Switch. Ooh, so ooh, ooh. Yeah. It might be a little less... Inf I can't... You know what? No, I take it back. I would... You missed the Doritos again. I would not be able to... I would not be able to play that on anything that would be throwable. I'm sorry I keep telling you to go back for the Doritos. I want to get them, but this is a really hard one to grab. It is. But you want that goddamn sombrero, don't you? I want it all. I want the whole the whole shooting match. The whole nine yards. The whole six foot crew. I honestly think in that game Why do we keep doing this? Doing what? Talking about games we're not playing. I, <laughs> I honestly think that the How much can you really say about Mario? Like everybody knows. It's great. <laughs> I honestly don't think there's a single, like, four matchup that does well in that game at all. Because whatever your two fronts are, you need to either have, like, a bandit in your second slot or a grave robber or something. The first slot needs to be a man-at-arms or a fucking crusader or or maybe the, the bird, what's the, the helion, whatever, the, the helion. helion. I usually did. And um, then your third slot has to be your healer, like a cleric, and then I normally have a plague doctor in my final slot because they're just too fucking useful. See, I usually did like a, a man arms at the front, and then either a bounty hunter or a leper. I forgot. Lepers, lepers are strong fucking as well. strong as shit. Yeah. So I always had either one of those. Two but they ones. never show up in the fucking they're carriage. Scary. They never show. And anytime I get one, they die at level one. I think it's because the game's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, they're rare. I remember, because I got one and I was like, I don't know what these guys do. I don't really, because, I, I mean, I looked at stats, but I was like, okay, they kind of look crusadery, whatever. Yeah. And then I saw them, like, just hit with a, a their basic, like, chop move. Yeah. And it was like 26 damage, and I was like, holy fucking shit, dude. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. I watched a video of somebody beating the game, like the final boss, with literally only a leper. They didn't have anybody else on their team. And he was Shut the fuck up, really. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I believe it. If that thing, I've never had a leper higher than probably level two. I bet when they get up there, they're up there. There's just there's so much nuance to that game that I just don't even know about. But most of the time. The struggles come from something happening in a mission that has absolutely nothing to do with the mission you're on. Like, um, the crystallized, the crystal DLC where you, like, go to the farmstead. Yeah. That, that can spawn in, in other areas, something called The Thing, and The Thing from, The Thing from the Stars is what it's called, but, like, it's shortened to The Thing. And, man, if he shows up, does he just wreck your fucking crew to shit, and then they can't live through the mission. It's the worst... I fucking hate that goddamn thing. And the only way you win against it, really, because over time it just becomes more and more resistant to your damage type or whatever you're trying to do to him. Like, if you're throwing, you know, toxin stuff at him, he just gets more and more resistant to it. Or if you're trying to bleed him, he just gets more and more resistant to it. But, after every single round, he loses 7 health. That's how you kill him. This guy, you just have to outlive him. Nice. And unfortunately, he's going to take one of your crew with him. I fucking hate that goddamn thing. Well, you're not even worth it either. They just not give you anything. Why are we fishing? One of these, the big one, wherever it is, is a moon. Hmm. I mean that one right there. Take the bay, yeah.
fishing mini game in my Mario game. It's yeah. a cheap cheap. Fishing. I would be delicious. absolutely traumatized if Mario jumped out of my body to take a moon. <laughs> He looks all the better for it, though, doesn't he? He does. The mustache is very dapper. Like a two. I remember these assholes from Mario Party stealing all my goddamn stars. I think you scared them away. I think I did. Come get it, you big asshole. Well, you motherfucker. <laughs> big asshole motherfucker got used in the same sentence. Everyone check off your bingo cards. Next up, get it. your free space is going to be me saying the word cunt. <laughs> Come and get it. It's hot and it's ready. But is it good? It's hot and it's ready. It's everyone's argument for fucking Caesar's pizza. It's Captain Toad! What were you doing being a fish underground? Wait, if he wanted to come back up, why did he keep disappearing then? Good question. You're quite a catch, I'm Captain like a Toad. Fish. <laughs> The air is so fresh up here. Well, compared to sand, I'm sure it is. I think this this guy might have another one for us, but I'm not sure. Trace the line, man? Yeah. You up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Trace walking time. Oh, I'm, I'm fresh out of prizes. Oh, there's the eagle again. Or the falcon or whatever. A hawk. Whatever bird would be in sand area. This thing is really hard to catch. I don't know if that's the same one or not. I don't think it is, because the other one was on the other side of the map, wasn't it? I know, but it, I, it took forever to fly back around, so I don't know. I mean, how fast is a bird anyway? Uh, well, it looks like you have a perfect like... opportunity now. Oh, Nathan, you botched it! I could have done better. I want to let you know I said couldn't have done better, <laughs> just so you, you know. No, 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 no. I know I said that kind of fast, so it might have, you might have heard it as could have, couldn't have. Woohoo! Waha! I recently learned that Nathan has a foot fetish. That is the opposite of the <laughs> I wish I had some sort of irrational fear, but I don't. I wouldn't say it's an irrational fear, I just think they're gross. Feet are gross. Well, you walk with them, what else are you supposed to do with them? Nothing. Look, Certainly now he's hot sexual. instead of cold. Wait, what? Sexual? All right, well, you were talking about foot fetish. I said certainly nothing sexual. Okay. Yeah, that's a different bird then. Okay, yeah. I, I really like how Mario just fucking becomes a droidica. The only thing we're missing is the sound effect. Nathan, you have mastered the art of getting places. <laughs> you are a people mover for sure. What the hell? I would not be able to see straight after that one. Oh my fucking god, you glorious bastard. Got him. Bird traveling the wastes. Jesus Christ, how many fucking moons are in this game? Never mind, I know the answer to that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Is that a giant carton of chocolate ice cream? Where? That tower just looks like a giant carton of <laughs> chocolate ice cream. Or how... Oh. I guess it's that portrait, maybe. This takes us into New Donk City. To be able to see it from a distance. Do we want to go there? Well, it's just like a, wow! it's just a singular moon. I knew I shouldn't have got that bitch pregnant! No, nothing. Okay. Is that a, is that a reference to, uh... To what? Oh, yeah, my wife's pregnant, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations, you now know. <laughs> It's 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 not got anything to do with this. <laughs> but yes, yeah, she is. Yeah. So wait, things. do these moons count for the New Donk City? Yeah, Tally? Pink. That's fucking dumb. Secret path to New Donk City. Dude, but donk a donk. Donkey on my ronky. I got thing. I wish Donkey Kong never mind, I can't finish that thought in front of you. Something about wanting her sex with Donkey Kong? No. I wish he'd pound on one of those fucking air. drums. Well, I think we could all relate to that. Oh, uh, ooh, okay, alright, I'm good then. You know what, you cashed in the rest of your luck for the year on that one. 
I don't think you can get up there. I really wanted to. I know, buddy. You can't always get what you want. That's true. Wrong but if you try sometimes... Oh, you're skipping the magical lean we portal cutscene? Yeah. I liked going in the lean dimension. It's kind of fun. Oh, there's that line thing there now. Can you use that to get up there? I don't think so. I want to say it's probably a bullet bill. Well, there are bullet bills up there at the chocolate ice cream tower that I was talking about. I bet you can do that. There's also that sinkhole that looks suspiciously like something else. What's in there? What's in where? Oh, Doritos! Perfect. We're missing a whole nine. And there's bullet bills. I bet you could un-3D them, can't you? I don't know if you can or not from this. I really don't know how you get up there. Well, this is gonna be a fucking problem. We gotta get that goddamn moon. You would need. This is this is where the falcon would. Oh, also, there's a moon below you in a cage. There it is. But there's also a little cut path right there that looks like a bullet would travel through it. So I don't, I don't know. I think that is what you do. Oh. Sexy lady, Goomba. What? I think we have to get up here as a Goomba and seduce her, but I don't remember how to do that. You know, that would be just dapper. Let's fucking do that. I'd love some Goomba. How do, I would love to see that actually happen Goomba for science. Goombacy. Goomba <laughs> the goosey. <laughs> Why the fuck would you so say that? Sweet Goombussy. Oh my god. Come here, buddy. It's you and me. Listen, buddy. I'm about to get I'm you. About 15 of your buddies. Fucking laid, dude. Wait, you need I'm more of them? On this gal. Oh, I see what you're doing. Man, it must suck to be the last guy on that stack. But the first, the la the first guy, on, the guy that's walking on this stack is the one that gets the fuck first. So I mean, I guess it's the penance well, you pay. It's, it. it's the penance you pay. Man, these bullet bills are just out to get you. Half these guys are your friends, Bullet Bill. Why the fuck are you being an asshole? Hey, hot stuff. It's me. No fucking way. Did she just... Oh my god, she squirted out a moon. Jerks on you, bitch. Love in the heart of the desert. All along. It was me, Brendan Fraser, from the hit movie Mummy in the Sand. It was me, Brendan Fraser, from The Whale. I haven't seen that, but I really want to. Is it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. I really do want to see that. Bullet Bill me. Okay, hello, other Bullet Bill. And you're just fucking rocking these out. You're like a man who works <laughs> at a sperm bank. <laughs> I don't know why that was what came to my mind immediately. Spewing these moons out like loads out your ass. Anyway. How do I get you? Uh, several people have asked the same question. I guess clowns would be the answer. What is the way to your heart, oh moon? Oh, delicious moon. What cheese awaits us when we finally touch? Is there giant sandworms that will eat you if you go out of bounds? That would be cool, but I don't think so. Well, then maybe there's something out here that you can use to get up to that fucking thing. Because this hill is especially suspiciously big. It's true. Can we use a cactus to get up there? That'd be hilarious. Waha! Woohoo! Yee! Fuck! Man, this place is gigantic. It really is, and there's nothing. It's a hot spring cave! Yeah, that's the hole, isn't it? That's the. That's the Oh, yeah, that's the pyramid hole. That's the one you fought the big... I feel like you can go back basin. down there and something has changed, though. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I would imagine there wouldn't be ice in there that time, right? Yeah. Hey, look. Some coins. There's also a man with a magnet or a slingshot or something over there. Oh, yeah, you, he, you can use him as a slingshot. Oh, okay. There's something else up there, too, so we'll have to do that. Uh, mm, you're doing good on Doritos. A there is a lizard. Can you can you hat it? No, it's too fast. Here you rat. You fucking geckoist bastard. Quit trying to sell me insurance. He's oh. dead. He okay. killed himself. He got a heart attack and died, dude. My guy said no thanks and shed his life instead of his skin on accident. Oh, miss him. Will you though? 
Like, you're not really an animal lover, so I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> the lizards aren't animals, they're reptiles. True. <laughs> yes, absolutely, <laughs> Noah. Continuing onward. Lizards are fucking weird. They hiss, for one. And they have that stupid snake tongue that I hate. Oh, there's a moon. Hello, moon! Shining so bright in the sky. I guess you gotta roll through there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, oh Nathan, what the fuck? I, got this time. I like how everything was suspended in time, but the thing's spinning. What? You still got it. You still got it. You still got it. I believe. I believe. This is the time. This is the one. Yeah, you got it. Easy peasy, lemon cheesy. Timer challenge one. Which means there's more. Absolutely, there's more. And there's more lizards that are killing themselves, too. Did you see that one? I did see that. That motherfucker said, hell no, we won't go and fucking jump to his death. What's that way up yonder in the... In the clear blue sky. I see you up there. There's definitely moon up there. I'm thinking there's got to be something around here, like a, a bird or something you can take control of, because that's way too far away from... A bull bill would never make that. Yeah. Also, there's that sheep, but I know you already did that one. You know what? I know what it is, actually. There's a dumbass lizard up there that we got to get to. You can two-player this? Never mind, I don't want to do it. Yeah, one person plays with the half. So no, thank you. Like I'm good. Fun. I'm absolutely fucking fine. It's kind of like, well, you never played Mario Galaxy, so never mind. I was going to say, it's kind of like Mario Galaxy where one person plays as uh, the stupid, like, cursor and can shoot star bits. And what does that add to the experience other than nothing. quieting the smaller absolutely child in the room? Nothing. Oh, the gecko! Okay, I know about the gecko. I remember my brother having fun with this fucker. Old B to glide. Oh, but you can't gain air? Okay, I guess you can gain air. Nope, not really. Oh, fuck. If we get back to a high place, we can glide again. But we can't teleport with him. Will he respawn? Uh, yes. There he is. Well, look at the inconvenience on you. Three, two, one, go. Ho! What is this thing supposed to be? I don't really know, to be honest. Some kind of bird. I can't Even. believe I did the exact same thing again. But you silly, silly boy. I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm inept. The amateurs would make me pay extra to be here. What's with the chime on his neck? And why is he wearing shoes? He doesn't like feet. He's kind of <laughs> he doesn't like feet. Why is the dog on the counter? He likes to be tall. I'm gonna wake up in case there's anything else I like to fly to. I feel like there is. But there's like... gotta be. They wouldn't make that for just one. He seems like an all-rounder kind of thing. How do you get the one that's invisible, or is that one you already got? That's one I've already got. So okay. it's just like a... So it's like a placeholder thing, like yeah. this would be one. There's definitely one out there, all the way out there on that pyramid. I feel like that's one you have to go into a painting to get You to. probably absolutely have to. There's that bird out there near that pyramid too, though. I don't know if that's one you already got or not. That's the one that goes through town and then goes over there. Yeah, so you definitely got that one then. So we have him. How many more do you need now? Probably less. There's, some kind of, there's something down there, what's that? Uh, I don't know. See that blue thing? I something. see the blue thing. We have 39, so we're missing 30. Jesus fucking Christ. Now we're going. Now you're good teleporting accidentally. But well, you went up. Um, oh, you went to the same exact place. place. So there's nowhere to go, so it was like, I have to go up to get off screen. We're going to see what that is. Well, by all means. There's a magic thing in that crate over there. Okay. What did you say? Maybe. There's a crate over there, and yeah, go up the. Okay, there's also that, I guess. If you go up the little boxed thing that you can use to jump up, I think there there's a crate that had some shimmery prospects to it. Oh, over here. There's, on, yeah, there's a. On the other side. I got that one, I think. This one here. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Well, open her up. Yeah, you got her. 
I didn't believe you, though. She believe me. I do. I know. I know. I'm terrible. I'm just the worst. Especially when I go into my fuzzy voice. Who's your favorite uh, singing gangster that would snap at you in an alleyway? The Fonz. Of course. <laughs> I fucking I knew immediately it was gonna be the Fonz. Uh, Fonzie Bear. How much I would love to see a crossover between the two. That'd be interesting. I think it'd be interesting. And the Muppets are still acting to this day, even though they're like 155 fucking years old. The new Kermit is awful, though. That I have not really seen the new Kermit. Makes me, makes me very sad. They did not get a very good person to be his voice. Well, no one can be Jim Henson. No, but the guy that they've had for a lot of years was good, but I think that he said something... Politically undesirable. Like what? I think he was a Trump supporter. And why is that such a demonizing thing? He's not even president anymore. Don't ask me. I prefer him a hell of a lot to our current. Ayo, anyway. Well, I think I, many of us do. Darn! Oh, shit. Man, the yeah. fucking head smack that you oh, sustained right there. <laughs> That's gotta be a concussion. Dead. Oh no, now it's 1901. Nathan, you're making us go back in time. Oh no. What did, can you use that to go up to anywhere? Uh, that line there? Oh wait, no, that goes up to the pyramid. I guess you That is kind of where I've been wanting to go, so that works. Well, this is where the boss fight was, wasn't it? Yeah, but there's a moon up here. Couple, actually, apparently. Okay, that is disturbing to see. That reminds me of the Beatles from the movie The Mummy. That would crawl under the skin. Yeah. How the fuck do you get this thing? You gotta get him to run into your hat, but... It's not I swear to God, if that's you, Captain Toad, I'm gonna be pissed. You know, with how skittish Toads are, you wouldn't really think that one of them would want to be an adventurer. There we go. You're beating the fuck out of it. This moon needs to know how to not be a sun. The Lurker Under the Stone. Not all of them can have clipper names, can they? Not all of them. You've definitely already got that one. I, I remember you getting one. that one. There's another one. Um, you have to get that weird cat up here. And how in the world would you do that? With this bench. Uh, what? Call for a jaxi. Why is it gotta be a jaxi? Oh, is that what it's called? Jaxi, yeah. Oh, I kinda assumed it was... What did you just do? Oh, you made it. I know this place, but my days of standing around are done. Wow, thank you for the one-liner, buddy. Welcome back, Jaxie. Look at your kingdom. Everything the sun touches is yours. Jaxie. Now grab hold of him and let him run off like an idiot. Where's that one lead? Onto that random pillar. Which also leads elsewhere. It looks like. Um I think maybe this this thing has a second riddle. I am scared. Holy shit, Mario, your abs <laughs> the fucking absolute control you'd have to have. The one who gallops across the sand. How many coins are required to get on its back? Thirty. Mm, yes, correct. You are formidable. Mm, yes. yes, I have no nose. If you require questions, I have another. If you see, if I, if a foreign visitor traveling by car, what stopped his journey? Ice! Well done, traveler. Well, you, give me another I have been saving this one. Atop the inverted pyramid, how many statues of the sand gallifers are there? Ooh, shit, there's five. That's correct. But, did you really know that? We're six, but one is gone, leaving five. Yeah, there's six fucking corners on it, dipshit. You guessed, didn't you? You're a guesser! No, I didn't guess. Fuck you. Persistent, very well. This is your final question. No guessing! What is my name? You're the Sphinx. 
You're the suffix wizard. The quiz kitty! Oh, dude, some porn star needs to be named that. Right before you orgasm, she gives you a fucking verbal exam. Or an oral exam! An oral exam! Oh. Everyone falls eventually, I suppose. Well done, take this. Oh, there's your moon. I knew that, I knew. Sand quiz wonderful. I have no more questions for you. Why did they pick a literal sphinx statue and not something a little funner? I'm sorry, I'm not a grammar Nazi. A little bit more fun. I don't know. He appears in more places, though. I mean, he makes sense in this environment. Does he not make sense in anything else? No, he's just a sphinx. Like... He's just there? Yep. Is this a, a third bird? I... don't know. I'm gonna say that it is. How many birds can survive out in the desert anyway? Probably very little. The last of their kind. Where does he go? Right there. Okay, you already got that one. That's, That's definitely one. the town one then. Lame. Lame songs. Fucking bird. Alright. Why don't you get denser bones next time, you fucking idiot? Why don't you evolve yourself into some better jeans? Jag off. This is not how a power line works. This uh, is think, not the law of equivalent exchange. I think we gotta dive into the hole. Okay, what about the slingshot guy? He just takes you into the... What about that right there? No, that's the lost luggage bit. Okay, Nathan, holy fuck, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> Deepest underground. Man, this is a big arena. Oh, hello, everybody. Jesus Christ, are we playing Luigi's Mansion? Against, what's his name? Bogmire? I don't think they die. Okay, what is the point of this? Oh, my way, nerds. Oh, okay, bye. Haven't you been here before? Yeah. Wow, we really flew far! I really miss Flood just going, Mario! Flood was cool. Flood was the fucking best. Also, I really like the trope of EGAD being a more prevalent force in the world. Yeah, And too. unfortunately, I don't think I've seen a single thing about EGAD. Or even seen, like, him appear in a while. He's in the new Luigi Mansion. Well, I don't know that. I haven't played it yet. Yeah. Well, we should do that one next. No. Oh. Unless Halloween is next. We should do... <laughs> Go straight from a Mario game into a Luigi game. Some some people's gonna call us out. Are you kidding me? These guys only play games for children. Well, games for children are fun. They are. And also, go fuck yourself if that's what you really think. That that looks breakable. I lied. They lied to me. They lied to me. Uh, I can't remember. I, I guess there's not anything. Basket I thought there was Robbins something in here. finds out, Nathan. I mean, surely there is. Well, you are basically being a grave robber in this situation, so are you really... Just... You're wearing a cool grave robber costume. Did cowboys rob graves? That's I pretty think... fucking based. I think I'm like the ones that went to Egypt did. There were cowboys in Egypt? Oh, yeah, I like it. You've been watching too much JoJo. I never watched JoJo. Oh, okay, well, I know there's a... Jesus, why are there so many? Can you kill them by jumping around? I have to kill all of them. All of you must die. Well, half of them just dissipated, so I don't know Thousands if that's... Thousands must die. Genocide must be committed against the mummy population. They just die, yeah, they just... Well, that one's got a moon! Oh. Well, there you go. Get it. So you get all your life back. Why do they have moons? Oh! Who has the fucking patience to go back through some of these areas and be like, Oh, well, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of all these, and then look, that one's glimmering. Me. <laughs> Obviously. Because I just did it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Cowboy grave robbers? I'm still stuck on this prospect. 
Prospectors. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, did you know that, like, the reason there's not more mummies is because people ate them? I oddly did know that, yes. Yeah. Which is really weird. Why did they yeah, do that? that? really weird. Who, who, who? <laughs> I know they also, there was some, I don't think it was Egypt, but they found some, like, thousand-year-old wine or something in some catacomb somewhere, and then in back in Egypt, they uncovered a tomb that had probably in a thousand year old cheese wheel so they're like oh the, the, the forbidden cool the forbidden the forbidden charcuterie play yeah i thought that was so funny I, I don't know if you're grave robin i hope you're met with a thousand year old queef for being honest but god some of those guys why would you eat a fucking mummy you know what to a certain degree i wish that there were like still graves to rob why? Well, just like, can you imagine like how cool it would be to? Oh. You touch the lean, Nathan. Can you imagine how cool it would be to like just discover some ancient tomb? There's nothing like, left to discover that is on Earth. We I have know. to go well, like, amongst like, the stars. At the bottom of the sea, probably. Oh yeah, well, I think there's only like ten percent of the ocean even explored, right? Yeah. Or some there's, something, some minute amount there's of. There's a lot of ocean still out there. There's a lot of ocean and a lot of space, but there ain't nothing else. But that makes me sad because. I wish there was stuff to explore. Well, the, there's never going to be a man in the same capacity of Andrew Ryan to, like, build a society underwater, so I doubt we'll ever fully explore underwater until we've at least colonized another planet. However, if we could build systematically underwater, I think that would solve overpopulation like a motherfucker very quickly. Yeah. Uh, but those people would also have to very much subsist off of sea kelp and brown pounds and lean. Uh, there's a lot of fish. You could eat. Well, I know, but, like, your vegetation would have to come from, like, kelp yeah. and shit like that. Or, I don't know, maybe there's, like, a... I'm sure you could eat, like, certain corals. Like, maybe you could eat brain coral or something, because I know that's kind of squishy. They're probably, like, if you really wanted to, you could, like... You could get, like, UV lights and, like, grow your... But you'd have to have some sort of lighting down there, because it'd be pitch black. Like, they can, like... There are ways that you can, like, grow stuff. Listen, Nathan, I don't want to grow weed underwater if that's what you're trying to tell me. It would stink up the place real bad. Oh my god, could you imagine filtered air through? <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a form of domestic terrorism. Somebody somebody in the joint lit up the weed farm and, like, <laughs> opened the ventilation system so it's all the way through the facility. <laughs> Well, we've lost this entire greenhouse, but at least we all got high for like 15 minutes. Secondhand smoke at its fun. Oh, open that chest. Oh, you already got it. Never mind. I don't like that the moons have to have like an animation sequence about coming back into the stratosphere. Like, oh yes, this was locked and you already got it, but it's locked again. Oh no. I don't think you can make that. I can make that. I don't even know if there's anything over Jump on the Jaxi! It's immune to the. It's a much, it's a, much easier. Solution. It's a. It's immune to the lean, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't you? <laughs> why aren't you just doing that? Oh, is that all it is? It's just four coins. Like, there is a scarecrow over here, though. I mean, I done well, it. it's probably another time challenge. Yeah. There's your time. Oh, dude, just get on the jacksy. Holy shit. No, we're doing this old school, baby. Why would you do it old school when new school is so much convenient? Especially since you don't need your hat to, like, control the Jaxi. That was actually pretty well done. You missed chime the timer challenge, too, though. Yeah, but it's one still out there somewhere. There's the hat. Man, you'd have to have such a chafe after that thing coming back so many times. Especially at high speeds. Your hair would be non-existent. If you had a bald spot, it'd be thinning. 100%. Oh, I know where at least two moons are. In the shop. Right here. Oh. Okay. Well, I should say third one, but I don't Ruin know seed that. gardening. Oh, so you have do you, do you have to like make the other one grow too? Yeah. How do you do that? It is. Well, you gotta find the seed and then plant it. Oh. Wait for it to grow. Didn't realize you could find seeds. Man, I have been paying such little attention to this. <laughs> I didn't even see you get the other seeds. Did you like plant them and everything? Yeah. Wow, I I don't. At one point, I think I have Alzheimer's. I found one in the ruins, and I had to walk it all the way back over here. I think I have Alzheimer's. 
I don't know where the last one is, though. The last seed. I think they have Alzheimer's. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, yeah, I guess that is funny. No, that wasn't <laughs> what I was doing. I was just oh, like, man, huh? I was really, like, grappling with, like, maybe I have dementia. Oh, I thought you were making a joke about, like... No, I see the double know. connotation <laughs> now. That is funny. <laughs> Oh my god, you can go in people's houses? This one's like a mini game. Oh, bro, it's a dance hall. Play some slots, it's ten coins to play. What do you say? Do they all rhyme? Yay, hey, slides away. Way. Use your hat to line them up. Oh, I see. I just read that. Uh, good luck, pal. You're gonna need it. Damn. Oh, you can do one at a time, it looks like. No, maybe not. It looks like it's flickering away. Damn you all to hell! Damn! Ah, you fucked up, bro. Well, you can put your 2,000 coins to use at least. Yeah. Hey, guy, want another try? He does just fucking rhyme. Have you ever met a more obnoxious person? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I think the people who only speak in rhymes... Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for you to cry out loud. There you go. But can you just farm more moons off this is the question. I doubt it. Sand Kingdom slots. Well, it doesn't say one or two or three, so yeah, probably. What? Way to play. We're out of power moons. You still want to play? No! What's that? You only have $100 prizes when I just won $10,000? Go fuck yourself. I do like that that icon on the wall looks like it's wearing a giant sombrero. I knew there was going to be something That's kind of funny. Where's the last, like, six of those power coins at? Doritos. Where be the Doritos, Roasty Toasty? I don't know where those are. I don't know where the last seed is. That's a dog wearing a hat. I think if you follow him, he leads you to a moon, actually, so I'm kind of glad you pointed that out. Dog with hat. It's a Sheba. Shia Uma, whatever the fuck they're called. I have one of those Nintendo dogs. Holy shit, all my Nintendo dogs are probably dead. Probably, that's been a minute ago. I haven't played that game since I was like 13. Oh no, I had two pugs! They're probably famished. Well, there we go. The dog came in handy. Thank Down you. to the sand! Good dog! Thank you, dog. Good dog. You know, when the credits finally roll in this series, we should go back through and, like, one by one, announce them all. Huh. <laughs> I want to do that Aren't now. They're all this? Yeah, they're all I want to do that now, Nathan. We'll just have a voice lines. <laughs> we don't even have to have a video aspect of it. We'll just do it. We'll fucking go back through it all and do it all. That'd be so funny. Above the neighborhood. It'd have to be so quick. Fuck it, that's a worthy idea. I'm gonna do it. Even if you don't want to join me. You can do it. <laughs> Is that dog just gonna follow you now? Yeah, because like, I'm on the other side of the big block of ice. So. Oh, well, why are you being an asshole? Suck it, loser. He's your four-pawed friend. You have more respect for birds than you do dogs, don't you? Yes. You should have more respect per leg of animal. Dogs are not as intelligent. That's not true. I've met some pretty intelligent dogs. Yeah, but birds are more intelligent. Uh, on the whole, have you fucking seen a crow? Holy shit. They're yeah, really they're fucking they're smart. Really smart. But I'd argue that monkeys are smarter because they once learned how to trade for sex, and that's kind of funny. I'm sure. Oh, hey, this is probably something. Gotta get one of those cats over here, though. Oh, I thought you were talking about just a statue alone, and I was like, how? You gotta get a cat. A jaxie? Yes. Man, you fucking love that jump. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Like places. Kitty cat, kitty cat, come, come here. I think this is the first time I've actually heard the music for this. Yeah. It's alright. Why you gotta go so fast? I remember this place. Taking me to see my family, you old softy. You're gonna make me cry a moon. Call me an old softy, but I prefer it 
if you'd call me a distinguished gentleman with a flagging erection. There it is. <laughs> That's number three. I love how I have an encyclopedic knowledge of the how many times <laughs> you've said that <laughs> to me. <laughs> Nathan has a favorite line. I think I found it. That's a, I love that joke. <laughs> That's a Norm Macdonald joke, right? Of course, yeah. Man, there'll never be another one of him. No. He, he was, was an he odd was, duck. He was the greatest of all time. He's not exactly my type of humor, but he was funny. He, he was an odd duck. He kind of hits the same vein, though, of, like, awkward comedy. Yeah. <laughs> What's that one fucking joke? Like, women are no longer allowed to drive or something and accidents have gone down. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> like... That joke was written by a woman. It's so funny because that joke was written by I a woman. Know what the hell to do. <laughs> that just gave me a higher I'm just kidding. I don't hire any women. <laughs> it's funny because they got the gigantic laugh. Like, that joke was written by a woman. Every, like, it's gigantic laugh. It was like, I'm just kidding. There we go. And that, <laughs> that, like, got an equal or greater yeah. gigantic boot. Oh, man. Such a good bit. Combo. He was really good at combos. Talk about the trip, man. I was so bummed when he died. I, cause I just had no idea. Like nobody. I don't knew. think anybody knew about the cancer, other than like maybe other comics. Uh, no, nobody knew. He didn't tell a soul. I thought that Except his family. Underground like, treasure chest. Wow, thank you, bird. Jesus, dude, your mouth is gigantic. Yeah, this bird. Is He's a blabbermouth, yeah. literally. I don't know where this last seed is. The physical manifestation of Gavin is that fucking parrot. Look how many freaking stars we have or moons. Yeah, well, it's a, it, we need to end the episode, so unless you're gonna fucking move on to the next world. Well, we can, well, do you want to? We still have quite a few moons here. I'd go, you said we couldn't get all of them anyway. We right? can't get all of them, but we can. There's still some we can get. There's an underground treasure chest someplace. That's what the, that. the bird just said. And unfortunately, I like to listen to birds when they tell me stuff. One time one told me to kill my family and I tried. It didn't work. Hard to luck. I know. Hey, look. Hey, there's some nachos right there. How oh. exactly did you get those without You dying? die. You absolutely sacrifice yourself for them fucking things. Unless there's a bullet bill nearby that eats at that level. <laughs> oh, man, you're all the fucking way back here. And let's see if we can at least get the rest of the Doritos. I'm fine with going a little bit further. But we are at 57. That is, that's a long one. Yeah, it's good. Well, you, uh, strap in, everybody. If you've been listening this long, pretty much every single fucking episode is going to be this long. If not longer. You don't want to wear the ponchos? I actually do like the cowboy outfit. I like the cowboy outfit. Yeah, we're missing three. We're missing one little stack of them. What does the other gold guy have? I, I, I'm sure you've been in the, the store. Some, but... He has some other costumes and like... Uh, you can get like you can get them anywhere, else. pretty much? Yeah, okay. the same everywhere. This. The cappy cap, the uniform, and the oh, boxer oh, shorts! Oh, Mario's nipples! Mario's nipples! Mario's nipples. nipples! My wiener's hard! I don't know, man. He's got pretty big fucking aerials. Oh. We call him pepperoni nipple where I'm from. Are you like, are you like Kroger? You serve everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck was with the air tanks in the back there? I'm sure they're probably propane tanks, but why was that something they had to add? All right, confirmed. Mario's universe has fucking propane tanks. Colored odd or odd colors. It is interesting that they would choose to include that detail. I don't know fucking... I don't, I don't fucking know why they do that. Are you thinking there's going to be more chips on the on the sides now? Potentially. Well, let's, yeah, let's at least try to find the last three of them. And I don't know. Because we're still, like, 20 moons down, right? Yeah, well, yeah, but, like, we can't get all of them, but I figured we would at least try to get all the ones we could. Right, yeah, no, I think you're, I think you're fine in thinking that. Hmm. Like, as, as, 
narratively satisfying as it is to end like a world each episode or like start a new world in the beginning of an episode. That's probably how this is going to work out like 90% of the time. I'm going to be like, Nathan, quit crushing my we're fucking We're going to be like OCD. for every single minute and be like, well, we're still here in the sand world on episode still 14. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 14 hours of one world, you fucking up, bud. Holy shit. That better not become a reality, Nathan. <laughs> In, oh no! Oh, there's a moon. It's underneath that cacti. Under this cactus. How do I get to it? How do I get there? Launch the cacti. Oh, okay, that worked. Gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight. Oh, somebody come and take the shadows away. <laughs> you love Abba, you told me. I <laughs> was so out of nowhere. <laughs> well, well, he frequently this... talks about how much you love Oh, oh, get a Jackson and go fucking smush the cacti! That might work. These Jacksons are coming in handy, dude. I was trying to think of why would you want, why we want the shadows to go away if you're lonely. That was where my mind went. Let's see if this even works. Oh hey, fuck! Oh, yes. Baby. Oh baby, a triple. Oh baby. Among the five cactuses. You got what I need. Well, you say he's just a friend. I'm trying to do the guy from Monsters Inc. Let her rip! That's pretty good. That wasn't, but the other the other line was. Nathan, you need to make a call here. Do you think you can feasibly find the rest? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Probably right? not. Oh, get in the telescope. See if you can find. Singular episode. Let's see, let's see if you can see if you can see if you can see anything. Wow, this was uh, helpful. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where the fuck are the last three chips? Oh, there's a... There's a pow button. Well, go hit the pound button, oh, and that'll be the last thing we do, then. Because it's getting long. Me seeks weren't meant to exist this long, Nathan. It's getting weird. Oh, fuck. I like the preemptive throw. Going to make sure. You never know. I wish I was an Easter Island head with a little plant growing out my head. I feel like I'd have a lot more fun. For years. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, a key? Oh, that goes to. Oh, go fuck yourself. That's been your well, the lean dimension just ate you again. <laughs> I would almost say just try to throw the hat to the key and see if you can pick it up that way. Oh, oh fuck, off. fuck you! Is that where it was? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I was like, oh god. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just... It's the Moai Cabinet. Why is it called the Moai Cabinet? Woohoo! Yaha! Woohoo! Just a straight line. It can't scare you, Nathan. It can't scare you, Nathan. You can make the jump. Man, those are just traumatizing. Okay, well, that's the last one of those. That was a timer challenge, too. Right. That. that was the last one of them. So we're missing 17. That's not terrible. One. Two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. I'm going to say that probably, like, from these, from here down, probably we can't get. So there's at least seven so that we can't get, like... so there's ten that we're missing? Yeah. Fuck. You can buy hints if we need to. Well, you better start buying some hints. 
Okay. But we'll call it here, everybody. All right, Nathan's making the executive decision to get the fuck out of Dodge. Well, there's our first little guy, our first, uh... Toast Arena. Tossed Arena? Oh, something. Tossed Arena. That sounds right. Or Having something. trouble finding a moon? Look in the sky, dipshit. Oh, it's there's at the corner of the village? There. That's the big oh, that's the big old yeah, yeah, that's the big old temple. All right, everybody, we're gonna stop this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know the point. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, don't do anything weird to your mother. You know all that shit. If you have to think, would we do it? The answer is probably no. We should probably not be doing it, especially with Nathan. Unless you think that we have bad judgment, which. May very well be true. I mean, it's unfounded. I've I've not regretted a single decision I've made in my life. Really? And look at me. I'm sad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! That's a good... That's a way to sell them. <laughs>